You right, guys, welcome to my Premier League ranking tier list video. In terms of managers, obviously, Pep Guardiola won manager of the season, which I don't agree with personally. So let's go through this tier list and see in terms of ability on this one season. I think that's the only fair way of doing it because, eh, you know what, I'll do a bit of both. Maybe the whole career and this season in the Premier League. So Roy Hodgson is first. It's either good or average. He's, he's obviously not a bad manager. He is average or good. And I think on the whole, probably average is fair. He's been consistently strong throughout his career, obviously, to last 30, 40 years. Clearly as a good manager, but never really took teams to that next top tier level. And that's probably the uh, the dampener for him. Eric Ten Hag is actually quite an interesting one. I think you put him above Roy because at the end of the day, he wins trophies. Two trophies in the last two seasons for Ten Hag. Be interesting to see by the time this video does go live, he might be sacked. He might not be. We'll have to wait and see. I hope he gets another year. Um, but yeah, Eric Ten Hag, we'll put him in good for now. We may move him up to brilliant. But I think he's had a lot of issues this season, so it's not it's not been easy for him uh, on the whole. But to be fair, I'd probably put him on the same level as Ange. Ange and Ten Hag, probably about right. You know, they had consistent seasons, but the injuries really pulled them back. Um, so, yeah, we'll go Ange there. I think if he kept it up and got top four, I'd go brilliant because brilliant job, you know, without Harry Kane and whatnot. Um, but, yeah, we'll put him there for now. Unite Emery, I think definitely goes in brilliant. Debatably go, you know, to get Aston Villa Champions League football is kind of crazy. You know, they were a championship team five years ago. Um We'll leave him in brilliant. I think that's that's probably fair. Marco Silva's a really interesting one because another mid-table finish for Fulham, which is probably about all they can do, particularly with the budget they had this season. Oh, I'll put him in good. Let's let's be nice and generous in this video. Sean Dyche, honestly, to me, is a goat because the job he does is brilliant. Because he he, he spent what 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 was the expenditure for this season at Everton? I honestly couldn't tell you, but it's not massive amounts of money. And he could have gotten, I think, 10th or 11th if the points deductions were removed. So I've definitely put him in brilliant without a shadow of a doubt. I'd, I'd put Unai Emery and Sean Dyche ahead of Pep Guardiola in terms of being awarded the manager of the season. I don't know how Pep Guardiola, even Pep Guardiola must be looking like, you know, Emery got Aston Villa Champions League. Sean Dyche kept Everton up with a massive points deduction. You know, it's just crazy that it goes to uh, whoever wins the title. Um, Jurgen Klopp. Obviously, this season, the injuries at the end cost a bit too much and the title race was gone at Goodison Park. Um, but now we'll go. We'll go. go. He is a goat, Jurgen Klopp. Like Jurgen Klopp for this era of Liverpool. You know, maybe if the 115 charges come in, Klopp might have a you know, another Premier League title or two to his name. Um, you know, the levels that he took that Liverpool team to to get in 90, po 90 plus points and still not winning the title is cr kind of crazy when you really think about it. So, um, yeah, he is, he is an absolute goat. Um, Pochettino, oh, probably say good. Yeah, I mean, he did a great job at the end with Chelsea for whatever reason they've sacked him and now they're getting Enzo Maresca, which seems really odd really because Leicester fans weren't exactly happy with him so to get the Chelsea job just seems mental um but we'll see honestly Chelsea's an absolute mental case at the minute um Eddie Howe I think good again I don't think he's in that level of Unai Emery Deitch but he's he's in that level of Ten Hag Pochettino and they're they're probably about right honestly I don't know why West Ham have got rid of more. I know the style of play and they want to go to this next level. But I don't really see it with Lopetegui, to be honest. He did a brilliant job with the Spain national team, don't get me wrong. But other than that, has he really done all that many good jobs? I just, you know, i debatably put him in bad, to be honest. I really would debatably put him in bad. Because other than the Spain national team, in which, you know... You're going to do a good job with anyway. I'm going to put him in bad. That might be a crazy shot, but I don't think I don't think he will last the season for West Ham. I think he'll be gone by like December, January time. To be frankly honest, defensively, you know, he kind of threw the toys out at Wolves, quit on the first day of the season, 
and you know it's just, just really just bad in my opinion you, you've, you've thrown a team under the bus because you didn't get what you wanted that's a bit silly really um thomas frank next definitely good and debatably brilliant didn't have the greatest of seasons that's his only letdown this year for brentford but obviously ivan tony out suspended for a lot of it and multiple injuries to like Mbwamu and um whatnot up front so yeah i think we keep him there for now debatably put him up but yeah good good manager steve cooper definitely average be just see if he gets a job in the championship at like norwich or hull or something um to me i don't quite get why forrest sacked him because i think he would have kept forrest up anyway um we'll keep him in average though because he's not quite proven premier league wise to be good enough does Serbi... hmm really did fall off at the end to be honest and there are some good players at brighton at the minute but we'll go good there is a lot of good at the minute. We need to we need to really split the good between the rest of them. Uh, Pep Guardiola, I'll just put him up there. You know, he's he's a he's a brilliant manager. Obviously, the 115 chart. The only defense about Pep, Pep like like in terms of criticism, is that he's only managed Bayern Munich, Barcelona, Manchester City with you know billions of pounds spent. Like. I could do it relatively. I could have probably won a title with one of those teams, you know, feasibly maybe. Um, so that's my only defense. Like there's no, there's no progression with Pep. It's just, oh, I've been thrown into this ridiculously good job and fair play for swimming in that jo good job and doing well. He's obviously had to do that. And he has got those levels that players obviously um, really do respect. But I just for me, I just, there's not enough development there me it's just you've been given a massive silver spoon and you've taken it kind of thing so i would i would love to see after the manchester city job if pep took like a valencia or something and be, made them into a title contending team i would absolutely love that for pep Guardiola's legacy that would be brilliant but i don't think he would do it to be honest mikel arteta has really proved me wrong this season i'm not gonna lie i thought arsenal were gonna massively fall off but he has pushed them to those levels to nearly win the title is he on the same level as them lot though i just don't see it do you know what i mean like ten hag and arteta have had essentially the same kind of managerial career in the premier league i think arteta just need like i just think arteta just needs that like He's so there probably should be a category between brilliant and good because I would put Arteta in it because I don't think he's as good as Emery and Deitch, but I think he's better than De Serbi and Frank and Eddie Howe. So it's a tricky one. I'll leave him there for now. Arsenal fans won't be happy with me, um, but cry me a river. Uh, David Moyes next. I'd say good, you know. Where, where did West Ham finish this season? And feasibly, where could West Ham go in terms of going up? You know, Man United, Newcastle, Chelsea, Tottenham, Aston Villa, Liverpool, Arsenal, all above them. They finished ninth. That's about all you can do. And I'm really interested to see what Lopetegui... If, if Lopetegui gets them top six, fair play. But I just don't see it personally. Um, so yeah, I think David Moyes is really, really underrated. I wouldn't be surprised to see him taking like a Forest job in like three four months time or i'm trying to think maybe ipswich if kieran mckenna goes to a chelsea or man united kind of thing but no i think i think it's quite sad that david Moyes has been sacked to be honest i know the fans want a better style of football but he's the best west ham manager of the last 20 years or something one of a european trophy and whatnot um do we need to talk about heck bottom i'll just i'll just put him in bad he's it's a difficult job he had with Sheffield United, but, you know, he's, he's not really good enough for the Premier League. Iriola, I debatably put him above. You see, this is where I need another category, I think. Do I, do I add a cat? Let's just add. Add a row above. Um, Very good. Let's, let's add that in there, because I think that's probably a more fair comparison for some of these managers. Like, Iriola, Arteta... 
Mm -mm. Moise. Do I just keep Moise here with Ten Hag? Debatably put Thomas Frank up there because the job that he actually does tactically and in terms of like the budget he works on, I actually really like Thomas Frank. Yeah, I'm going to go for that. And debatably, Ange could go up there. Debatably, Ten Hag could go up there and David Moyes could go up there. But I'll, I'll go with that for now. Vincent Company, I think he's bang average, to be honest. I really don't get what the, the Bayern Munich job. I really don't get how he's how he's managed to do that. I don't think he's going to win the Bundesliga next year. And that's what he has to do. That is a simple job with Harry Kane, with the, the with the, the amount of money Bayern Munich spend compared to the rest of the league. They should be walking it. So if he doesn't win the Bundesliga, he's gone, surely. So I'm going to put him in average. Good in the championship, but dreadful. Like gen genuinely, at no point did you think, oh, Burnley might stay up, you know. So debatably bad because like at least Roy kept teams up. You know, Steve Cooper at least had Forrest in a situation where they probably would have been fine. So yeah, I'll I'll leave him there. Um Rob Edwards is a really, really interesting one. Because Luton almost Luton almost stayed up in the Premier League up until last two games of the season. So I'm gonna put him on average, you know, for for the job that he's done with Luton, it's genuinely very, very good because they barely spent that much in the summer. When you really break it down, they didn't really spend much in the summer. Um, and yeah, overall, just just a little bit unlucky on some occasions. Like they, they actually attacked quite well. They didn't just part the bus like some teams do. Um, so yeah, he went for it and, you know, just, just missed out and they should do well in the championship next year. Then we got Chris Wilder. Now, if this was on before this last um, stint at Sheffield United, I'd probably put him in good. Because the fact that Sheffield United finished, what was it, like 6th or 7th in the Premier League? That is ridiculous. But obviously this squad isn't good enough at the minute. So I'm going to put him in average. I think he's a good manager, don't get me wrong. And he should do well in the championship with the money, the, with the parachute payments. He should be able to get, play, like Sammy Samadikas, stuff like that into the team and just get them firing into the top six kind of job. Uh, Nuno, I quite like Nuno. I like that he, yeah, I think Nuno was quite unfortunate at Tottenham. It was a bit funny at Tottenham because they kind of wanted Conte, but they weren't willing to pay it. But then they were willing to pay it midway through the season so it was a bit weird with that um but yeah i'll go i'll go nuno good yeah for what he did with wall i know he did kind of cheat code with walls in the championship just having loads of loans but to get you know those european runs with walls and whatnot you kind of have to put him up there as a uh, good manager and it'll be interesting to see what he does with forest next year glasner instantly very good instantly because what he's done with meteta is Brilliant. Honestly, it's, it's really, I'm really debating putting him there, but I just think the longevity, yeah, I'll leave him there for now. But the longevity, if he keeps it up, he's going into brilliant without a shadow of a doubt. Um, Really, really good job so far for Oliver Gasner. I'm really excited to see what Palace do because they've been that mid-table team for the last, whatever, decade in the Premier League and not really developed. So, if he can get them going into Europe, that would be beautiful. But uh, final manager, Gary O'Neill, who's 100% good and debatably very good. I really like Gary O'Neill. I think Gary O'Neill did a really good job with Wolves because most people put them into the relegation in their Premier League predictions. They put Wolves into the Premier League um, relegation zone. So the fact that Wolves were never really in a relegation battle just tells you how much of a good job that he did do. And I think I do put him there to be honest. Yeah, because I think he's debatably up there for manager of the season, Gary O'Neill, with Unai Emery and Sean Deitch. But I think that's probably a fair... I don't think there's anyone massively out of place here. I think the only debatable thing I could do is maybe push... Maybe push Moyes up, but I'll, I'll leave him in good because it's kind of... Stoured out at the end at West Ham, unfortunately. But I, I think he's very good, to be honest. I think it's quite a silly change at West Ham. I don't think Lopetegui's the answer. 
but fair play if he proves me wrong. But yeah, hopefully you guys did enjoy this manager tier list video. Make sure you do let me know your opinions down below in the comment section. Drop a like if you did enjoy and we'll catch you all next time.